The two main mics that I currently use is the lavalier mic through which you are listening to me right now and the road shotgun mic that we use when shooting outdoors. Each of them serves specific purpose. Right now I am sitting in a small room which would cause echo if I try to record on shotgun mic and in that case lavalier mic is the preferred option. While shooting outdoors it's really difficult to manage the wires and in that case shotgun mic is the preferred solution. But there is one more scenario where both of these mics have failed to perform that is when I am trying to give voiceover for my YouTube videos. The solution for that was either to get an external recording device or get a USB mic which directly connects into the PC. As you can see we have gone for the latter and we have chosen blue snowball eyes microphone and let's go through the unboxing together. For the rest of the video I will use this mic. Please give me some feedback about the audio quality. The blue snowball ice mic has a retro look with a retro blue logo boldly shining in the middle of the mic. This and the overall round shape and design does work for me but might not suit everyone's taste. Though the mic is an all plastic design except for a metal grill in front, it feels really well built. The mic has a red LED on top to indicate that the mic is powered and ready to record. In the box we get a cute little user guide that should help you to get started. Though the mic just works without any setup or driver software installation. And also what looks like a good quality USB B type cable which is usually known as printer USB cable. Unlike the normal blue snowball, the blue snowball eyes has a single recording mode that is cardioid mode which basically means that it can only record sounds in front of it. The normal snowball has a switch to change to modes where you can also record the surrounding or ambient sound in addition to the user voice. As most of the time I am trying to remove the ambient sound rather than add it. I don't think that those modes would be any use to me. With my current mic, wherever I tried to increase the overall sound level, I always used to end up with a lot of static hiss rather than just amplified ambient sound. Post processing to remove the sound ended up making my voice sound unnatural, sometimes almost metallic. The mic comes with a stand which at its best gets the job done. If you were expecting anything like the heavy stand like with the bigger brother blue 80 then you will be really disappointed. I tried to change the orientation of the mic on the stand by removing the single screw at the bottom but was disappointed to find the support inside was slightly bent and the stand could fit perfectly only in one position. But the most important part and function of the mic is its recording capability. So ignoring the stand I should judge the mic on its sound recording quality. Here I was pleasantly surprised by it. The sound recorded feels very natural with absolutely no static or hissing sound. Probably a few pops and clicks but that can be easily eliminated by using a pop filter. Even when I raised the level of the recorded sound, I didn't add any form of noise. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Do like, subscribe and comment. Hi though, this is Nat.